Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is April 13th, 2017. And it seems like talk of World War III between China and the United States has de-escalated. And World War III between Russia and the U.S. has de-escalated. But the United States is showing its military strength. Dredge report, Trump drops mother of all bombs on ISIS, targets cave hideout in Afghanistan, first time used in combat, and of course we have North Korea with Kim Jong-un constantly shooting off missiles, doing nuclear tests, threatening the United States and our allies. Showdown, North Korea, Pentagon, can move first. Day of the Sun, North Korea prepares big celebration, nuke test. Japan warns of sarin tip missiles. China flaunts military might on state TV. Trump's approval rating up to 48%. Let's take a look at the mother of all bombs that was dropped on ISIS in Afghanistan today. 2003 marked a milestone in military history. At Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, the United States tested a new superweapon. MOAB, short for Massive Ordnance Airburst, quickly became known as the mother of all bombs. This massive weapon creates a blast radius stretching a mile in each direction. The MOAB is made out of an aluminum skin, a very thin aluminum skin. And the reason we did it that way was in order to maximize the blast effect. We did not want the airframe of the bomb to interfere with the development of the blast wave that has the impact to the target. The world's largest non-nuclear weapon, MOAB is over 30 feet long and weighs more than 21,000 pounds. It's no easy task to accurately maneuver such a behemoth through the skies toward its target. Engineers overcame the challenge with a grid fin design that provides great aerodynamic lift. Uh, during carriage, these four grid fins are folded forward onto the bomb in order that it makes a very compact uh, design for carriage. When the weapon is deployed, out the back end of the C-130, the fins are subsequently deployed with aerodynamic assisting in the deployment because... So there's some about the mother of all bombs. ISIS hammered as U.S. drops biggest non-nuclear weapon ever. 21,000 pound bomb is used in anger for the for the first time to obliterate jihadist caves in Afghanistan. It can create a blast crater more than 300 meters wide after being dropped from a Hercules MC-130 cargo plane. Trump pledged in 2015 that if he became president, he would bomb the shit out of ISIS. On Thursday, he called the bombing another successful job and said he had delegated strike authority to his military commanders. Pentagon denies that it was revenge for the death on Saturday of a Green Beret soldier in the same region of Afghanistan. There's another picture of the mother of all bombs. Continuing, U.S. drops largest non-nuclear bomb in Afghanistan after Green Beret killed. The Pentagon's denying it was in retaliation to that. U.S. drops largest non-nuclear bomb in Afghanistan. Another picture of it painted, painted up differently. U.S. may launch strike in North Korea if North Korea reaches for nuclear trigger. The U.S. is prepared to launch a preemptive strike with conventional weapons against North, against North Korea. 
should officials become convinced that North Korea is about to follow through with a nuclear weapons test? Here's some photos. Do these images, do these satellite images prove North Korea is preparing to detonate a new nuclear bomb to mark sinister day of the sun as Trump's armada moves in? And of course, a large naval armada is parked off the Korean Peninsula as we speak. Here's some of those satellite photos. Satellite imagery of the test site appear to show vehicles parked around the northern portal. It's hard to see here, but supposedly we have satellite images saying they're preparing for a nuclear test. Continuing, China warns against force as North Korea prepares celebration. So China is warning now. Kim Jong-un tests the West. He is preparing to detonate a nuclear bomb in a tunnel to mark a day of the sun celebrating birth of North Korea's founding father Kim, Kim Il-sung. Foreign journalists visiting North Korea have been told to prepare for a big important event. North Korea may be kept capable of sarin-tipped missiles, warns Japanese Prime Minister. Let's hope that China uses its military force to make North Korea stand down and the U.S. doesn't even have to get involved. China flaunts its, its mightiest Missiles on state TV as Beijing urges North Korea to give up its nuclear ambitions amid growing military tensions. China's central television yesterday revealed footage of deadly weapons. One of the missiles said to be FDDF-21 is dubbed the killer aircraft carrier. Program also reported on the intense mock battles by the Chinese army. Tensions are high with North Korea warning of a nuclear attack on the United States. China has urged Kim Jong-un to halt his nuclear program in exchange for greater protection from Beijing. Here's some of uh, China's military propaganda on their state-run TV. A show of military force to North Korea and the rest of the world. Some photos of the Chinese military here. Tanks, missiles. Continuing. U.S. may launch preemptive strike again on North Korea ahead of nuclear test. And ABC reports CENTCOM after U.S. drops the mother of all bombs on ISIS targets in Afghanistan. U.S. will continue offensive operations until ISIS is destroyed. So it seems like things have de-escalated. However, I would hope that China will take care of its bulldog to the south. And put North Korea on a leash and have them cease their threats toward us in the United States and our allies, Japan and others. But if they don't, then the United States is going to have to take care of it. And as for this strike, the mother of all bombs on ISIS... We know that ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the jihadists were created by the West, by Western intelligence agencies, the CIA, MI6, Mossad, and others. We need to end this perpetual war on terror. 
these jihadists are out of control. Who knows if we can get them under control? I seriously doubt it. But this is Trump making good on one of his campaign pro promises to wipe out ISIS. We cannot put start another protracted ground war in the Middle East or in North Korea for that matter. Let's pray that North Korea will stand down and it can be the situation between them threatening the United States and the West can be resolved by China or there will be strikes on North Korea and possibly, most likely, a larger war there. So that's an update about possible World War Three scenarios that seem to have de-escalated, but now the ball is in North Korea's court to see what they're going to do next. Do your own research. I will continue to report as, as these stories develop. Subscribe to this channel. Speak out and take action.